Welcome to Dog Hub Live at Positively Woof. I'm Chris Perandi, the Stunt Dog Guy, co-hosting today with Robbie Hess. Uh, we're going to have a fun podcast this afternoon, and I'd like to thank all of you for your support and for those of you for signing in with us here today. Uh, let us know in the comments section uh, where you're joining us from. We'd love to hear where you're coming in from. And um, uh, let us know you're here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask as we go along. We've got some fun things to show. Uh, we're going to be talking about the stunt dog race that I challenged Larry about uh, to do with Spider last week. Um, I've been a good friend of Larry for quite some time now. I'm actually the co-author of our new book. If you haven't uh, got a copy yet, get your copy. It's called The Big Book of Tricks for the Best Dog Ever by Chris Brandi and Larry Kay. And I'm Chris. And uh, obviously, you're seeing Larry every day here. And uh, again, I'm filling in for Larry today. And we're going to have some fun. Uh, that book can be purchased, by the way, wherever books are sold. Uh, you can even go to my website, stuntdogshow.com. Get a signed copy from me um, if you like that as well. So uh, make sure you guys, you guys check it out. It gives you lots of great ideas on fun things that you can do with your dogs. Um, I also produce live stunt dog shows all across America. We do uh, performing arts centers, uh, theaters, uh, theme parks, fairs, festivals. Been doing it for 20 years. Just celebrated our 20th anniversary. If you're interested, um, you're welcome to check out my show. We got some awesome highlight videos. It's at Stunt Dog Show Productions on social media, or you can go to my website at stuntdogshow.com. All right, guys, enough about me. Uh, we got two people to bring into the channel today. Starting off, we have Robbie, everybody. So say hi to Robbie. She is with us right now, live from New York. How's it going, Robbie? <laughs> you know, you sound like a, like you should be on the radio. You've oh, got a radio yeah. voice. I try. When, I, when you said live from New York, I'm going, oh, my God, I'm on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> live from New York, it's Robbie Hess. Yes. I feel like there should be applause somewhere. I have to come up with an applause track. There, there is. Everybody's <laughs> applauding right now in the comment section. I know it. Hey, nice. once again, guys, for those of you that are tuned in watching, uh, let us know you're here. Uh, let us know where you're from. Um, again, it's my first time hosting here at Positively Woof's uh, Dog Hugs page. Um, so it, it's definitely an honor to be here. I am so excited today to see the Dog Hugs Challenge. Or the, what, it's not the Dog Hugs Challenge. What's it called? It's the Stunt Dog Race Challenge. The Stunt Dog Race <laughs> Challenge, because we've been seeing snippets of Larry and Spider all week long. So it's going to be interesting to see it all put together. And then you're also doing the challenge with your dog today, too, right? Um, well, actually, we have a highlight video that we're going to oh, show. Oh, nice. Explain the Stunt Dog Race and uh, kind of how it works. Um, so uh, I threw up a photo right there. That's me and Larry. That's a photo from our book. And uh, just uh, during the photo shoot, uh, we took over 10,000 live, photo, uh, live photos during oh a week period in Oakland, California. Um, about 400 or so made it in the book. Um, and this was one of them uh, of Larry and I with, with Spider. And that's one of my big stars, Flashy Ferrari up there. So, yeah. So, Larry, you're, I... with us, buddy. you're with us, even though you're not here. You're still with us. <laughs> and you know what I love is... You have a lot of rescue dogs. I'll ask you about that in a minute. But the dog that is that Larry is shown with was Spider, who apparently was a problem dog yes. when he was at Pet Orphans. Mm -hmm. And Larry worked with him along with the other dogs that they were training to be movie stars. And then Spider now found his forever home, and he does a lot of tricks and stunts. Oh, and he's so I want to so give good. a shout out to Pet Orphans because that's where Larry got spider from and turned him into a star yes he did. spider's chris, awesome me, he is so chris tell me how many dogs do you and suhey have well speaking of suhey let's get her in the chair <laughs> she's, been, she's been hanging out over here in the green room uh, which is just, which is just the, the uh, west side of my office and uh we have a uh, little leo here well, Aww. Leonidas. So Tell about Leonidas. Leonidas is uh, he's a little Chihuahua mix. He's only um, about six pounds, and he's a little over a year old. And we adopted him from a rescue group uh, out in Tennessee called <laughs> Bark. And he is training to be a stunt dog. As <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. He's so how many rescue dogs do you have? We have thirteen total. And do you travel with all of them? Because you travel around the country, correct? Doing yeah. stunt dog shows. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We travel by RV with um, our oh my dogs. And we just go state to state, city to city. And we stop by and perform at fairs, festivals, performing arts, theaters, sporting event venues. Yeah, all kinds of things. It's fun. It's amazing. Our and it's amazing, too, that they're all rescues. So it just shows people that... 
you can find stunt dogs, movie star dogs, just snuggly dogs at the shelters. I love that. Yeah, there are some great dogs in the shelters. People don't realize um, th you know, that any dog can be trained sometimes, and they seem to think that they have to get a purebred dog to have a great dog. Mm -hmm. We're not against purebred dogs by any means. Are you getting a dog from a breeder? Obviously, we hope you go to a responsible breeder, but there's so many great dogs in the shelters that, that we would just want to encourage people to at least check there first because you might find the exact breed you're looking for. In fact, the statistics show that 40% of dogs in pounds and shelters are actually purebreds. So you might even oh, find wow. the exact breed uh, you're looking for. Or, or you know what ends up happening when you go you're looking for that certain breed, but then one of them captures your heart yep. and you just, you fall in love with them. And um, so, we oh, like I'm to sorry. thank all those people that did adopt and rescue their dogs. And we appreciate that. So the dog on the cover of the book that you and Larry wrote, that's Vinny Valentino, right? Yes, that is Vinny. And he's, he's another rescue cover. dog. And he looks like a border collie. Vinny, come here. He's a border Oh, he's right there. You don't know. He's yeah, making yeah. a cameo appearance. <laughs> actually tested most of our dogs. You can get their DNA tested nowadays. And he turned out to be 50% mini Australian shepherd. Oh, my gosh. And 50% border collie. Oh wow! He, uh, he does. He gets mad. He gets jealous. He's a jealous boy. He's jealous oh, of Leo good. over here. Yeah, because Leo. I was going to say it was an awful big growl. I didn't think it was coming from a little Chihuahua. Yeah, well, I, I, I haven't finished all my coffee. That was my throat. I'm still warming up. Oh, sorry about that. No, it <laughs> I forget been... it's only noon where you are. I'm looking towards dinner time now. So <laughs> I've just got on my second cup of coffee. That's it. Second cup. <laughs> Yikes. Vinny just he he thinks he's a big star and he wants to be the center of attention. You know, if he's gonna be here live, he wants to be the only one. He doesn't yeah. want Leo. He's a brat. He's a <laughs> well, you know, I think when you were on the cover of a book, that's probably something that you think is going to happen, that you're not gonna share the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and, and it's really gone to his head. That's what I what I think it is. It's it, the, the stardom, the fame. It's just okay, maybe not. <laughs> so is he giving? Wait for it. Potographs. Oh, he, oh. Does. he gives a photograph. <laughs> yeah, he does give lots of kisses. Yeah, lots of dog hugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kisses and hugs. Right, Vinny? Right, buddy. So um, we get we get the challenge we're gonna go over today. I believe. I was Rob. gonna say uh, I am looking forward to those. I've been watching the the. The previews of uh, Larry working with Spider with the videos that he has shared mm -hmm. on his page and channel and his progress is looking real good. So I'm excited to see what he sent in today. And um, I'm excited to share it with the viewers as well. But first, I think what I would like to do is do a recap here in a second. Um, maybe do a recap of what the Stunt Dog Race is. It's been in okay. my show for many years. So I got a video of that. So I'm going to pop that up on the screen right now and let you guys get a little bit of an idea of how Perfect. the Stunt Dog Race works. So here it is. Hi guys, I'm Chris Perani, the Stunt Dog Guy, and today I'm going to go over my fun stunt dog race that I incorporate in every single one of my live shows. It's been a staple of my show for many years, and it incorporates a couple of the most popular dog sports. First one being dog agility. Now today I'm going to show you how it works. Watch closely. The dogs will start over here in the weave poles. They'll weave their bodies through the poles as fast as they can go. They will then jump through the hoop, and then they'll go through the tunnel. <laughs> over the fly ball jump, race around that barrel, make their way back over the jump, through the tunnel, and then they'll come to dog sport number two. And we'll throw them a flying disc right down the middle of the field and our dogs will try to make the catch. It's all timed, see which dog can race the fastest, the audience cheering on their favorite dog. That's their favorite part, by the way, catching those flying discs <laughs> right at the end. What'd you think, Robbie? Oh, I think you might be muted. Oh, there I you did. are. I muted myself because I never oh. know when my dogs are going to bark. So, oh, uh, yeah, no problem. What'd you, think is... of the, what'd you think of the race? What, what do you think? It was so cool. having fun. <laughs> so, I mean, Larry was talking about how hard the poles were. Is that the hardest thing, do you think, or is each dog different? 
You know, I each dog is a little bit different, but I was going to let Sue answer. But in my, in my opinion, I think the wheat poles are probably the most challenging obstacle okay. in that course. Um, we do spice up the course in our theater productions with one more dog sport, making it a triathlon. And we oh. have fly ball into it with a fly ball box. So instead of the barrel, they race down over that last jump. They hit the box, catch the ball carry it back over the jump through the tunnel and then drop the ball and then catch a frisbee. Now oh I was gosh. fly ball box might be a little more challenging to get a good box turn out of the dog for their safety. Oh, okay. Um, than the weave pulls. But other than that, in the, in the race that you're seeing right now that you just saw with the barrel, the weaves are definitely the most challenging, I think. I mean, definitely. how long has it been taking you? You just trained. Well, you well, saw that that Bernice Mountain Dog Poodle mix. That was Hollywood, one yeah. of our new stars. Sue actually he trained him to do that. It took the longest to train. And I, I think uh, for me, I find that there are different ways that you can train different dogs as well. Okay. Like Chris, for example, likes to train it mostly by luring with, with a Frisbee. I okay. do it mostly by luring with a treat, but then you'll find that there's some dogs that it just doesn't work well training them by luring. So uh, you might use uh, channel guys or uh, uh, weave wi uh, wires. There's these wires that you place on the on the weaves to help your dogs just to guide them through the weaves easier. Oh, okay. And that's what I had to use with Hollywood, and and it worked better. It took him a little longer to learn it, but it, it worked well for him. So how do you know, or I guess how long does it take to know, okay, this dog is not going to learn this way, so let's try something new. I mean, I can't imagine you just do it one day and go, well, he's not going to get it. Let's do something new. Like, how do you know, and how long does it take to try a different way to train? Well, it just depends. I guess you, you try it a certain way for maybe a few sessions and-, okay. and you see that it's not working out, then maybe you try a, another way of training it. And if that doesn't work out, then maybe you say, hey, and maybe this isn't just for him. I'll go train him something different, something he'll really enjoy. You know, we really try to work with the dog's abilities and what they're really into and enjoy. So if we start seeing that hey, they're not really putting their heart and soul into this and really, I mean, they're doing it, but they're not really doing it like we want, you know, oh, so okay, we'll, yeah, we'll like, you know, well, let's see what else they what other talents they might have and what, what makes them happy and, and make their tails wag the most. And that's kind of cool because it looks like, you know, just watching that video that they are having fun. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's like it's not a job thing. for them. It's like they're just out there doing it and running around and getting that Frisbee. It's like it looks like something they look forward to. Oh, they and do. And do you they train only one at a time? I mean, is there two dogs out there at any well, when time I'm doing, doing the same thing? When I'm doing certain tricks and stunts and Frisbee, I do work multiple dogs at one time. Uh, okay. But when it comes to the agility, uh, typically we're not working more than one unless we're doing we pull barrel racing where we got two dogs racing side by side, oh, down, okay. down their own set of we pulls around the barrel, back down the we pulls. That's when we'll have two dogs uh, racing, and that's similar to fly ball um, when you have two dogs racing down a, a stretch. But we'll train them separately mm -hmm. first, in individually. We'll train each dog, and then we can put them together in a race and and train them to race together. Yeah. Now, will tiny dogs like Leo, will he want to go after a Frisbee? He does actually have some pretty okay. good drive uh, for a little guy. I mean, he loves to play. He doesn't have the Border Collie or Australian Shepherd mentality. He doesn't uh -huh. have that work ethic, but he's very he's very driven for his breed and size, um, which is what really drew us to him. And now he's turned out to be our mascot. <laughs> I guess it's does. adorable. It doesn't do I'm anything in the show just pounds. yet. We're working on. I'm working on actually. Let me see. I've been working on training him um, the paw stand, which I've I've trained to do many of my dogs over the years. And okay. So I'm working on learning the paw stand right now. I, I can't really let go oh. yet, but I, I'm basically <laughs> just hitting him to put pressure on my paws, give him lots of kisses while we're at it, and then lots of good cookies. But he he's got that. Oh my gosh. Uh, the perfect form. So we're, we're working on it and he'll get it. You know, I want him, I want to do it short with this trick. You do short, quick segments, few treats, and then you do it later. You don't, you don't want to burn the dog out. You, you don't want to force, you know, I mean, you, you don't want to stress them out. You want to make sure that they're having fun. They're enjoying it. And, uh, and then their, their tails be wagging. And that's what we want to see. All right. So I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'm going to. Uh -oh. So if I'm sitting home and I want to have something fun to do with my dog and maybe train them to do some sort of agility or a trick or something like what would be something easy that I could start out with? Shameless plug, plug um, all the tricks. Okay. In the no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> um, 
Hey, yeah, why not? Actually, we have a whole beginner section that goes over a lot of fun things you can start off. But we were oh, just perfect. That. You were talking about luring. Yeah, what, I mean, I find it that some of the tricks, um, there's a lot of tricks out there or, or behaviors that are easy mm -hmm. by just luring your dog. So you grab a piece of their favorite treat or maybe it's a toy. It could be maybe their favorite toy is a tennis ball. So you grab that <laughs> and it's a treat and you put it right in front of their nose and you can teach them to spin around in circles by just grabbing that treat, putting it in front oh. of them and just luring them in a circle. You can so kind of the same way if you're luring them to like a down position when you're going from. Yeah. Oh, okay. In front of their nose and then you can lure them into laying down on the floor. You know, you can, if you want to do leg weaves where the dogs weave through your legs, you can lure them with a treat as well. There's, there's a lot of really fun tricks and behaviors out there that, that you can easily train by just luring. That is so cool. Well, I have to say I am anxious to see Larry's video. Yeah, you know, He's got, he's on another speaking engagement right now, even as we're speaking. Yeah. So very proud of you know, him. this is going to be the premiere of his event. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. Um, yeah. We got some people signing in. Thanks guys so much for saying hi. That. We have a, uh, we have a uh, Julie. Yeah. Julianne from Reading. Hey, you're not too far from us. We're in French Camp, California. Hmm. Uh, so we're like coast to coast. I mean, Robbie's in New York. We're in California. Yeah. Um, and we got yeah. Uh, Saginaw. Yeah, Saginaw. So thanks for saying hi, you guys, so much. Um, we really appreciate that. But yeah, I got the video. Um, let's see. I challenged Larry last week. I just thought it would be funny. Uh, you know, <laughs> just, just to kind of give him give him something more to do. Not that he's not busy enough. Yeah. In podcast In spare time. <laughs> brilliant job on by the way. We've been really enjoying it. It's been fun being on it each week. But I thought it'd be fun to challenge Larry to do our stunt dog race for a chance of him and Spider starring in one of our live shows once we're back up and running oh. again. So that's that's the whole reason. So um, and and uh, he sent in the video. So I'm going to share that with you guys right now. This is Larry and Spider. Let's see what happens. Here it is. And now I just got to hit play. All right, Parandis. Spider and I are ready for the stunt dog challenge. As you can see, we are in our unis. And we are so ready to take you guys on. All right. So the challenge course is set up. We've got the weave poles, followed by the hoop of fire leading into the tunnel. Oh, by the way, the tunnel has a double bend in it. Hmm. <laughs> then after the tunnel, going over the jump around the barrel. Come on, spider. Back over the jump back into the tunnel. Oh, by the way, did I tell you it has a double bend in it? And then followed by a final surprise for you. So you ready? Let's take it on. Come on, Spider. Let's go, buddy. Ready? Set. All right, go. Oh, I'll stop. We'll give him one more shot. Come on, Spider. Ready? Okay. Yeah, go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yes. Good job. Over. Yes. Over. Come on. Good boy. And. Boom. Yeah. All the way, Spider. Come on, buddy. Bring it. Bring it on home, buddy. Bring it home. And that's. How you do the stunt dog challenge? Your game now. <laughs> that was great. Wow, I wasn't expecting that big finale. There. Well done, <laughs> well done. And, and even in our live show, if the dogs do a false start, they always get to start over again. That's so true. that that was that was well played. <laughs> um, one thing we're missing was the frisbee catch at the end. Um, I, I know, I know he's working on that. Um, but I, the ball that was that was too super was cute. You, you, I mean, you have to get bonus points for that. You know, I think uh, <laughs> so that was pretty impressive. Good job, Larry. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, who's who's watching in the channel right now? What do you think of uh, Larry's uh, progress in the stunt dog race? Let us know. I'd love to hear what your thoughts. I liked seeing it all come together since I just seen snippets all week long of everything that he'd been trying so that was so cool seeing it that was cool it was a finished and, product and i don't know if you noticed i don't know if you were paying attention 
Robbie, but the tunnel had a double bend in it. I think he might have said that once or twice. Really? That's twice. <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta give more time about it. <laughs> we gotta do our oh my gosh that was Looking amazing <laughs> that, was great, though. that was great i loved it but uh, again for those of you signing in i'm co-hosting the show today um at dog hugs at positively wolf for larry in his absence um no he has not gotten the coronavirus he's good right he's, he's good he, he's actually <laughs> um, and i hope you guys are all staying healthy out there and staying safe i know this quarantine's taking its toll on a lot of people um mentally, mm -hmm. physically financially so um we, we'd like to definitely personally thank all those out there that are uh, helping keeping us safe um, all the medical staff that's you know, on the front lines and um, all the people that are out there uh, working in the essentials category, um, keeping us, keeping us uh, uh, afloat the best they can. So it's definitely awesome to be you know, And that's how we always end the show is with the blessing. So you just kind of wrapped it up like that. You well, know, I agree with you. It's like, you know, I'm thinking now about all the people that are still working in grocery stores and different things, just you know, to help everybody out, you know, who might be shopping for toilet paper if it ever comes around again. So right. I'm going to tell you my secret. Everyone was panicking about this toilet paper business. I, I basically <laughs> had to just be like, I don't need to worry about that because I have a bidet. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's life changing. I, and, you know, that's that's the response that I get from a lot of people when I talk about it. And my other my trainer, Abby Klein, who's been working uh, for over like 10 years, she, she's awesome. And and she got one and she was raving about it. And I was giving her a hard time about it. And because, um, you know, in other countries, it's like the go to It's like everyone's got mm -hmm. one. And they're in there. It's you think, oh, they're so expensive, but they're really not. You can go online and you can you can get one pretty easy, easy, pretty cheap, like even maybe under 100 bucks. And you can install it yourself. And you don't use as much toilet paper. It helps prevent, you know, waste. And and honestly, I, you got a cleaner bum. I mean, you really do. And I mean, you know, I've heard. Seriously, oh, consider what? it. You consider it. You never know when we're going to be in a, another pandemic down the road, and the toilet paper is all gone again. So, I'm telling you, I, you know, I used one roll in a month. That's how good the bidet is. I think you know, and it's kind of funny because. It's nothing that ever comes up in conversation, you know, at a pet conference or a dinner party. So do you, gotta, do you have a bidet or do you, are you using toilet paper? Right. But it's interesting, like so many people that I know talk about having them now. It's like That's I never awesome. would have thought about it. Yeah. And then there's somebody that I listen to on the radio and he talks about how he's got a heated toilet seat and the water from the bidet is heated and I think it lights up. I don't yeah, know, yeah, but the it's like, I got, oh the, the bidet I got's the deluxe one. So the water does heat up. If, you're, if your toilet is close enough to a hot water source, you can connect it right up. It's pretty easy. And I'm not that, that hand, <laughs> I'm like, hand, hand I was able to install it myself. So it's, it's easy for anybody. I mean, it, I'm telling you, man, I, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> I can't, so I, can't. I guess we know what you're thankful for today. I'm thankful for my good day. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Thank so you for saving me. Going, oh, why? Why are we having this conversation? <laughs> I'm, just keep, again? I'm just keeping it fresh. <laughs> fresh. 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 <laughs> so now you're going to have fresh. to get one installed in your RV, correct? Or I guess I'm assuming you don't have one in your I, RV. No, but... I tried. I tried to put it in the RV, but it wouldn't work with that toilet. <laughs> Not enough, so. not enough space so i'm not to find the rv version of one. Oh my goodness <laughs> but anyway well, it's awesome to, to join you here today robbie um i hope you've been doing well and have had a good yep. week and surviving the weather out there in new york is it finally starting to warm up at all it's 37 today so it's warmer than it was the other day when it was 24 wow oh, yeah okay all right well gotta be thankful yeah. for the, the little <laughs> There's no snow today, so there is that. That's always That's a good thing. That's good. Yeah, we're kind of spoiled out here in California. Um, we're in northern, so it does get a little chillier up here, but but it's not too bad. We're outside the state, you know, the capital, Sacramento. So we're, we're not. Oh, okay. We're about, just about an hour south of Sacramento. Now, do you have a dog that hugs the way Spider does? I wasn't sure if we were going to wrap up the show that way. We do. Vinny does, but. Um, I don't know if, if we'd be able to show oh, no. it here. He hugs my leg. That's what he does. Yeah, we can. He hugs my Well, he does. No, he, he does, does like here. spider. Have him, have him hug Sue. Yeah, we can do that. We come over here. Hey, Vinny. <laughs> Let me hug, see. Hug Larry and Spider, we got to do the hug, Vinny. All right. Let's see if you can. you see him? Can you see yep. him? Here, put my computer down a little yep. bit here. 
He's sleeping. He hasn't finished his coffee yet. Come on, Vinny. Get you, get Vinny. Sit. Give her a hug. Vinny, sit. Are you ready? Vinny, give me a hug. Yes, there it is. Oh, oh yay! yay. <laughs> oh, look at that tail just wagging. Oh, look at that it. That is a great way to end the show with the dog hugs. Yeah. yeah. Is. And my dog's barking. <laughs> Well, thanks so much, guys, for signing in to Dog Hugs. Uh, it was an honor hosting the show today, and thanks for joining me, Robbie. And, and you guys are doing such a fantastic job with the show. Keep up the great work. Thank you. And Chris, do you want to tell us you have your own show? Yes. That it's, you're doing? Uh, let me oh, see yeah, if we have own, a link for that. Yeah, Please tell us, podcast. what is that? Yeah, I'm doing my – thanks for asking. Uh, we're, we're, do, we're doing a video podcast twice a week. Um, I'm doing it on Sundays and Thursdays, 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern. It's called Coffee, Dogs, and Curiosities, your alternative CDC. And uh, you can just go on Facebook, look up Coffee, Dogs, and Curiosities. Uh, if We're also uh, streaming live on our YouTube page at Stunt Dog Show Productions. It's in We have a playlist for it there we, where we keep all our stuff, including uh, training sessions and highlight videos for our show. Um, again, that's Stunt Dog Show Productions. And um, the name of the, the podcast is Coffee, Dogs, and Curiosities. We'll be live again on Thursday, 2 o'clock Pacific okay. Eastern. Perfect. I just put it in the comments in with your Facebook link. So if people want to see that. Awesome. And there's my link there at the bottom of the screen, Stunt Dog Show or Stunt Dog Guy. I'm on Instagram and Twitter and all that. Perfect. So, oh yeah. If you guys got any questions about this dog is, oh. or, or anything about bidets, uh, send it to my link. <laughs> <laughs> help save you money on toilet paper. <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> And on that note, Larry's never letting me host this show again. <laughs> we won't tell him what went on here today. All right. We're going to start off. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless all of you. Bye, everybody.